Hello booktube, I have a special recommendation for you today by a friend. <laughs> so, um, one of the scientists that I've followed since my early, early grad school days on Twitter has just released a book and she was gracious enough to send me this book um, for me to read and see what I thought about and see if it would fit into the sort of scope of what I do here on booktube and it does and it was fabulous and I want to share it. So that is Epigenetics, a graphic guide and you all know that I am all about the accessible science and this was definitely that. It does require just a little bit of background on cell structure in that you know that a cell has a nucleus. Other than that, everything is very well thought out and progressive, so it is dense. Uh, don't get me wrong that this is not going to be a non-fiction pleasant read, like a non-fiction pleasure read. This is going to be an educational book and it is presented in a way that makes it extremely accessible and really illustrates the concepts well because it is a graphic guide. So it, this is not a comic. It says it's a comic, but it's not what I would consider like a graphic novel or comic where you have the bubbles and then they progress. This is more using illustrations to demonstrate concepts. So you have base pairs and then there's when they talk about cardiac problems, there's a demonstration of the heart. All this being said, I think this is extremely accessible to both scientists and non-scientists. It does sort of a chronological guide to genetics and then epigenetics that grew from that and how each sort of discovery built on the one previous to it and how some things were going on at the same time and where and when and how and who and why and I loved that aspect. So it's the information is presented in a very easy to understand way, but it also, that was sort of an unexpected thing for me. I thought that that would be considering the size of this book, considering it's only um, around seven, 175 pages or something like that, and it's got a graphic guide, so it's got a lot of pictures. I wasn't expecting them to really be, to be as in depth as it is. She, she really took time to talk about the discoveries and why it was important as well and how each of those built. It was sort of an unexpected pleasant thing for someone who already knows a lot about the science to be able to go back and use this sort of as a reference guide to biographies that I might be interested in or reading more on specific discoveries that are you know foundational that I should know more about and I think that was something that was unexpected but very pleasant for me and this publishing house Icon Books um, is also, they, they have several in this series, so this graphic guide series is not just epigenetics and genetics, I think they also include physics and I, or that's what I've seen. I plan to look that one up maybe next. I, I enjoyed this one so much, I think I will try to look up a few more in this sort of graphic guide series to see where it sort of falls. And it's for people somewhere between me and with you know, a pretty broad scientific understanding, but maybe not that specialty to someone who's an armchair scientist, someone who has had, you know, high school biology and just really wants to expand a particular area of interest, like I am with physics, which is why that's the next book I think I want to try out from this series, is I have sort of foundational concepts from high school, but I don't know that much outside of that. I've taken a couple college classes 15 years ago <laughs> or something. So uh, it's a great way to kind of expand that knowledge and also the references. If this is the case for all of the series, I'm, I'm going to be very happy because that will give me a lot more physics books to read as well. And it ends with additional readings and any book or any terms that you may have trouble with or that you may not be familiar with are defined in the back of the book as well. So I think in general it's just a great overview. and. I really, I really like the illustrations. I, I have to admit that's part of the lure as well. Most of the time it was to demonstrate a concept and, you know, help to understand that idea, but it's also sometimes just puns and I like puns, so I, I liked that. <laughs> Anyway, if you are interested in learning more about genetics and epigenetics, then I highly recommend this book and we'll link all the information down below so you can make up your mind for yourself. I will see you soon. Bye.